man. See those two trees guys? Those two trees are special trees to me. They are the first two trees that I ever used to hammock camp. I'm out here at that spot to visit again. I want to do some uh, little camping. I will not be using those trees again tonight because I will be in a tent. However, uh, I'm still going to enjoy that same kind of feeling and who knows maybe I'll have a use for those trees after all. We'll see. Let's get set up guys and I'll get I'll I'll tell you a little bit more.
All right, guys, we're all set up. So, uh, as you can tell, I'm tent camping, so I will not need those trees, but I have a nice view of them. Good reminder of where I kind of started out on this journey. So it's supposed to get down to about eh, 22, 23 degrees, somewhere around there. Um, so I have a Western mountaineering uh, sleeping bag that's good down to 20. I have a lot of confidence in it, so I really think I should be just fine with that. Uh, I've got the X-Therm underneath me, and you can't go wrong with it. You, you know it's going to work. And then I've got my four-season, true four-season tent here. So this will block all the wind. Tonight, it's supposed to get about to 25 mile per hour winds. Uh, it was windy and blustery when I came in. Uh, the snow has finally stopped, but uh, I believe that it's going to continue later on tonight. So I wanted to have a good, solid shelter, especially for that wind. Um, but I think I'll be nice and cozy in here. I'll zip this up. This has two layers, so it should keep in a little bit of warmth. We'll see how I do. But I think for now, time for coffee. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yeah, that's pretty good coffee, actually. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. yeah that's not bad. I'm trying new coffees out. Uh, I've, I've always had that staple of the Waka coffee. Uh, but I wanted to try something new. And I went out and got these freeze-dried meals from different companies. I'm trying two different companies this year. Last year, I tried Peak Refuel. And I really liked some of their their meals. Uh, obviously, I was a packet gourmet guy for a long time, and I'm kind of reaching out, trying different things. So, we'll see. I got a couple of companies I'm trying out. Uh, one of them tonight we'll, we'll try out, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Coffee's over, and uh, I definitely am going to want to have a fire tonight. Only problem is, normally I would have tried to pick up some wood on the way up here, uh, but the spot that I normally get it from, there's no wood out there. I don't know if they stopped putting it out there or what. I don't even see their stand, so I'm going to have to collect some wood. I brought a little bit of wood, just some dry stuff, just in case their stuff was real wet and I needed something to get it going. But definitely not enough for a full fire tonight. So I am going to have to collect a little bit. Luckily I do have my saw and axe. I almost always bring them just in case. So I don't know, I don't know if I want to take a tree or what I want to do. But let's go get some wood. All right, that's a nice big chunk I found right there. Yeah, I got lucky. I, I, I was going to take my axe and everything, saw, and see if I could find something to take down. But honestly, there's enough deadfall around here that I, I should be just fine. I just walking around, finding good stuff to, to take. So we'll see what I get. I'm going to start chopping and sawing and get our, getting everything ready. Let's do this.
Well, this year I got myself some new uh, blades and uh, changed them out. These are definitely way better than the ones that come stock with this uh, Boreal uh, 21. That's what I got here. And then I also went and got Gransfer's Brooks. And uh, first one from them that I've ever gotten. And believe it or not, I went with the small splitting axe. I love that it's got this here to help when you're splitting. Sometimes you bury it all the way deep and you'll, you'll end up hitting that without splitting it. And it's nice they, they put that on there. But this, this is a splitting axe. And I've noticed that, you know, pretty much everybody has those small forest axe or whatever uh, variant. And uh, this is perfect. It'll be great for our group. All right, the fire's going pretty good now. It's definitely taking some wet stuff, and uh, it's hot enough that it, it's not doing nothing to it anymore. So I've just been kind of sawing a little bit more at this. You saw me sawing earlier and chopping. I got to say, that axe, I, I've been going through. Now, it takes a couple hits, but it, it will go through all these knots. All right, I got a knot down here. And a knot up here. Let's see how this guy's gonna do. This is a full size piece. So let's see how it goes. Roasted chicken and white cheddar biscuit dumplings. Chicken and dumps, baby. Ooh, that looks good. That looks real good. I got that fire going behind me and a fire going in front of me. Ooh, yeah. So now it's snowing on me, but let's see how this food's looking. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it smells great. Oh yeah, I'm digging into this. This looks good. Oh yeah, let's eat. This, this looks good. Let's see how this bite is. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's good. Oh. Wow, I mean that is, mm. it's even got just enough crunch, like from the uh, biscuit part, 
Oh my gosh, it's good. Like, the biscuit kind of rehydrated, but to a point that it's still got just a little bit of crunch. Man, this is delicious. So one of the reasons I came out here tonight was really to uh, kind of sit and relax and just be by fire. I didn't want to do a hot tent. I didn't want to do all the big, you know, everything. I just wanted a simple camp out. I needed a night out to think. I don't know. It's really been kind of on my mind lately. Uh, as you all know, I am in the military, but I'm in the reserves. And I kind of always thought I would be, really, for, for many years. And uh, I've got uh, coming up on 18 years now uh, in a couple months. So I'll have two more years left. And I'm always kind of projecting and looking ahead, seeing what I have coming along. And I think I'm, I, I think I'm going to be looking at getting out. I just, I don't know if I have it in me anymore. I always thought I would. I thought I'd do 25, 30 years, but I might, I might be a 20 and done. So I don't know. I've been contemplating about that. I'm not a hundred percent, but I just don't know if I, if I really have another deployment in me. Oh yeah. The snow is hitting us. I don't know what happened here out of nowhere. I'm glad I got a halfway decent winter setup in there. I was not expecting this. I knew it was supposed to have a little snow. But oh, holy camoly. It's coming down. Fire's still going though. Guys, it is crazy out there right now. I was not expecting all that wind. That I mean, I knew there'd be some wind, uh, but they were talking 20, 25 mile an hour. That's got to be 40, 45 mile an hour winds out there. Not really sure what to do. I couldn't even stay out there. My hands instantly felt like they were about to get frostbite. I put my gloves on, but uh, either way, the fire was, I mean, there's no way. I got to let that die out. I mean, the wind's coming by and just blasting it. So I got to keep my eye on it. Uh, luckily, this tent can handle the winds, but I'm not so sure that the, I'm not, I'm not so sure that the trees can handle the wind. That's my only concern. Oh, all that work, got all that firewood, got all set up, had a great night so far. It's only 9 o'clock. But I could also pack up. I've got the energy. Uh, I didn't pack very much. So I could pack up quickly. This tent has a way that you can pack it up from uh, where you take everything down and keep it staked all the way on the ground and it, it kind of you can pack it up in a windstorm so I'm not worried about that won't be too bad and I can pack everything up inside without even going outside and this thing's basically blocking every little bit of wind that's out there it's really really phenomenal how it's doing that but and, and to be honest, I wouldn't even really care if I was stuck in here all night because it's, it's a nice tent. I, I just listen to my my podcast or my audio book or something. <sighs> the question is, do I think, do I really think that one of these trees could fall on me? And I was looking up there and I got a lot of trees around me. But they're, they're, they seem healthy. Yeah. Uh, I 
think I'm packing up guys think I'm packing up oh the tents doing just fine crazy 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 wind and it it's not even moving I mean this thing is solid as a rock just solid as a rock but I I don't know uh, I don't know if I trust that I just don't uh, I don't know if I trust the one next to it either uh, yeah.